So today we're looking at affirmative action. And we'll start with some of the arguments for, and then we'll look at the arguments against. Um, so when we're looking at four, uh, one of the, the main arguments is that diversity is a desirable thing, and it's not always going to occur if it's just left to chance. Uh, when we're talking about education and affirmative action, we're looking at uh, the idea that students that start at a disadvantage need a boost. Uh, affirmative action draws people to areas of study and work they might not have considered otherwise. There are stereotypes which might not be broken if we didn't have affirmative action. And another argument is that affirmative action is needed to compensate minorities for centuries of slavery or other types of oppression. So let's at some of the arguments against um, one argument that is talked about a lot is that affirmative action leads to reverse discrimination. Affirmative action lowers standards of accountability needed to push students or employees to perform better. Uh, students admitted on the basis of affirmative action are sometimes ill-equipped to handle the schools to which they've been admitted. Um, others argue that affirmative action is condescending to minorities and basically saying that you need affirmative action in order to succeed. Um, others argue that affirmative action demeans true minority achievement. All right, so if uh, you do succeed, then it is labeled as a result of affirmative action rather than on hard work and ability. Um, and another argument is that once enacted, affirmative actions are tough to remove even after the underlying discrimination has been eliminated. So again, that just sets you up as your uh, pros and cons. So let's take a look at the timeline. All right, and these are some of the uh, major cases, executive orders, and um, laws that have been passed over time. So when we're looking at the issue of affirmative action at, at uh, college admissions. Um, you need to first understand, obviously, that these programs are controversial, and the history surrounding them has been controversial. And it really has to be viewed, as you're looking at it, as part of the centuries-long struggle of African Americans, and more recently, also other minority groups, in order to gain equal opportunity. And so the main controversy at this point in time is whether universities should regard belonging to a minority group as a positive factor to be considered with other factors in the admissions process, because that's uh, basically where the law stands now. So if we look at some of the more current issues, um, the Supreme Court recently decided two cases. Um, at the University of Michigan, uh, the undergrad school and the schools of law. Um, and we're really going to just look at some of the complexities. We're not solving um, the world's problems today, but we are going to take a look um, at some some issues and some, some context. All right, so this is your first assignment that we did in class that You've accepted a position as a on a university committee, and your job is to list the factors to be considered when you are looking at admissions. So before you go to your first meeting, you're supposed to be jotting down some of your ideas as to what you think should be considered in determining admissions, grades, what. So after you take a few moments to do that, You have to understand, obviously, that admissions policy is necessarily um, involving a lot of different factors and complexities. There is no factor that's completely objective, right? So even if we're looking at teaching assessments, all right, those are subjective. How do we decide how much weight to give leadership accomplishments or sports or uh, volunteer work or whatever? those things that you're look, choosing to look at would be. Okay, so when we're looking at how objective is any factor, what do we mean by objective? Okay, do you think it should only be grades and test scores? 
Okay, should an alumni connection or athletic ability be considered, but not race or ethnicity? Why or why not? What is a university there for? What's the purpose? Um, and how do your proposed admissions factors support these purposes? Okay, so we're going to move on to the last part that you're doing on this exercise is looking at race and ethnicity as a factor. All right. Should a university consider a plus factor for an applicant who is African American, Latino, or American Indian? Why or why not? All right. Um, and this is going to be for you to work on. Homework for the and the classwork that we did and for you not in class, obviously all homework. There is a packet reviewing uh, a couple of the court cases uh, and latest findings, and you will be required to complete those as well.